Today we will create four different network with different IP addresses and connect them with router. So let's take eight different end devices. Each network will have two PC. So we need eight end device for four network. Now let's take four switch. Then four different router for four different network. We cannot uh, communicate with different network with different IP address mm -hmm. using switch. So we need router for this. Let's connect them using copper straight through wire. Now we need to connect switches with the router and we are connecting fast ethernet 0 of every router. Now we need to connect the routers and you can see only two ports are here. One port is here but there we need two more different port. For increasing the port number we need to go to physical. Turn off this switch. Then on the left side go to WIC2T. Then take this inside this box and turn on the switch. Now it is already you can see that there are two more serial port here. We can use this serial port to connect the routers. So we need to do this for all the other routers too. As you can see that we cannot connect Ethernet with serial port. So we need to have serial port in other routers too if we want to connect them. So let's do the same thing again. Go to configuration. You see there are only two port. Turn off the switch and go to WIC2T and take them in that box and turn on the switch. Wait for the system to boot and then do the same thing for other routers too. We will connect with serial DT with serial port 0 with serial port 0 and then serial port 1 with this router serial port 0 and this one's serial port 1 to the last one's serial port 0 0 0. Now we will take some notes here the IP address the 
PC's IP address will be always uh, different. Only the two of them will have same IP address with the host ID different. Here you can see that the IP address is 192.168.1.2 and .1.3. So we will always take the host ID as 2 and 3, only the IP, net ID will be changed and here inside the router and switch connection this will be dot 1. We will make the other network like this so that we don't forget the connection. This one will be 192.168.2.2. So the IP address is different, you can see the net ID is changed. And now among these two from the same IP address, only the host ID will be different. And now we need to give the IP address for this root 2. This will be 2.1 and the next one will be 3.1 and the next one will be 192.168.4.1 Now we need to set the IP for the PCs to go to desktop and IP configuration here we need to write the same IP address we wrote in the note and we need to change the gateway letter for now we will just set the IP address and check if this is working properly or not now if we send message from PC 0 to PC 1 you will see that it is working properly process will be successful Here we need to give the gateway and gateway will be dot one, the IP address from switch to router. And both PC 2 and 3 will have the same gateway. So we are using the same default gateway for both the PC. And now this one's IP address is dot two dot two and then the gateway will be dot two dot one because this is a different network, the IP address will be different, the net ID is different. Then this one, here it will be dot two dot three, and the gateway will be dot two dot one. Then this PC, this is three dot two, and here three dot one. The gateway is the IP address between the switch and the router. Remember that. Four dot two and the gateway will be four dot one. Okay, now if we send message from every PC in the same network you will see all the process will run properly
but now if we want to send message from a different network to another different network you will see that the message will not reach the router because we did not set the IP address in the router we need to configure router to you can see the process status is failed so now we need to work on the router here we did not set any port yet so let's go to first Ethernet 0 this line is first Ethernet 0 so here we need to give the IP address of this line that is dot one dot one then the subnet mask and turn it on you can see the green mark for this line and now we need to give serial dot zero zero here let's set a class a IP address that will be eleven dot zero dot zero dot one or we can set it to You can set any IP address here. We are taking class A for this route and all the other network was class C IP address till now. And here first Ethernet 0 was this line so we need to write 192.168.2.1 This is the IP address for Ethernet 0 and then we did not connect anything with first Ethernet 01, so we will go to the serial connection here. Serial.0 was connected with this route, and that will be 11.0.0.3, let's say. You can give any host ID, but the net ID will be 11. Because we need to have the same IP address for a same route. eleven dot zero dot zero dot three and now we need to connect this side too so let's go to serial dot one and here if we want to write it like this you will see that we cannot write it we need to have different IP address for this side too even change the host ID it will not work it will overlap with the serial port zero so we need to have different IP address here let's say 12 as this was 11 we will go like this and turn it on and now the next router for the first Ethernet 0 this was our IP address class C IP address and for serial port 0 it was this side so we need to write 12.0.0.3 and now you can see that this route is also green Let's write it down. I'm maintain, maintaining a similar pattern here so that we can write the network easily later. So all of the host ID is 2 and 3 and the net ID will be different. And the next one will be 13.0.0.2 and the last one we need to connect this one to. First Ethernet 0 was this one 4.1 and the serial port 0 was connected to the third router so we need to write it like this now we just wrote all of their IP address but if we want to send message, we cannot send the message till now because we did not define any of the network where, from where the data can go to which road. We need to define that too. If we see now, you can see the data will be returned back from the router 1 because router 1 does not know from this port where they need to send the data. So for that, we need to define the network here. So for that let's go to routing and then static. Here we need to write the network name. From this router we can go to the second router. From these two PC, PC0 and PC1, we can send data to second router, third router and fourth router. So we need to give all the network here one by one. So first let's go to the second router. So 
from the first router the data will be sent to second router so second router will be all the network with the net id 2.0 if we write dot zero then it will mean all the network with 192.168.2 in this net id we can use any host id because we are using dot zero here in the network and then the mask id was class 3 mask id because it was a class 3 ip address so we need to write the subnet mask like that 255 255.255.0 and then next hop the next hop is actually the ip address near the next router so here the second router's ip address was 11.0.0.3 and here the net if we add it you can see it was already added so now here we need to specify this network in the second router too because the pc will send back a signal to let the first pc to know that it has received the data so we need to write the same for this network too this was 1.0 so all the id from 192.168.1 will be accessed via this and here the next hop will be the first router's ip address we are accessing from router 2 so we are writing the first router's ip address as next hop so now if we send from pc2 to pc0 to pc2 you will see the data will be sent properly and the process will be successful now you can see the data is passed from router 1 to router 2 and it is sent to router 2 and it will send back a signal okay now you can see successful but if we want to send any other router it will not go in that way you will see that data will return back from the router one because router one does not know how to reach pc4 because we did not give the network in the any in any of the router so let's go back again in the static and let's add the other network too like we have added here we need to add the next hop clear properly in this case here first the network will be 3.0 for this whole network and here the mask will be as always and here the next hop for accessing this network we need to go from this this route so here to here and we need to use this route so this will be our next hop We cannot just send the data from router 1 to router 3. We need to pass it from using this route only. So we are using that data. And here if we want to use this network, so we need to write 4.0. And the next hop will be same again. We need to use this route only. We cannot send it flying from router 1 to router 4. We added all the main network. And now we need to add the network between the roads so let's just delete this and see this properly because we will use the same route for every other router too here we need to access this route through the first route so 12.0.0 all the network from this route will be and here the next hop will be 11.0.0 11.0.0.3 so now we are accessing the second route through the first route here okay now we need to send data from router 1 to router 4 so we need to access road 3 using road 12 i'm using road uh, to make it easier to understand so 3.0.0 here we will access this route but we will access it using route 12 so here we are accessing route 12 using route 11 and then accessing route 13 using route 12 so by using this we can access all the network so now like this we need to add network in all the other routers too 
one by one we need to do this properly so that the data reach them so now if we want to send data from here to here you will see the data will go but the signal will not get back here so the process will fail the data will be actually back from the second router because we have we have configured the second router a bit but not the other router so we need to add the other network too so from second router we actually added the network for first router but third and fourth router we did not add it so we need to add them so it will be 3.0 and the mask will be class 3 sorry class c ip address so like this and then the next hop will be we ex want to access the router 3 so we need to add the router 3's ip address 12.0.0.3 and then add it now we need to send data from router 2 to router 4 so 4.0 and the next hop will be again the same we need to access it through this route only we cannot jump over one route to another and now we need to connect the route with each other because we are using a different route to access another so here we will access route 13 with the help of route 12 now if we want to send data you can see that this will go back there But you can see that it cannot go back because we have not configured the third router yet. So from the third one we need to send back to second router. So let's write it. Also, we need to send it to the first router too. So first let's do this 2.0 and we will access it through the second router's IP address that is 12.0.0.2 and add it. Then we need to send it to first one so 1.0. The next stop will be same again. We cannot access it by jumping over one router. So after this we need to send it to router 4. So 4.0 and this one the next stop will be router 4's IP address. Okay now we cannot send the data from the third router to first one directly so we need to access that route 11.0.0. The mask will be 255.0.0.0 and here the next stop will change to 12.0.0.2. Then now we need to configure router 4. From router 4 we need to send back data to 3, 2 and 1. Third routers, next stop. And now 2. For 2 the next stop will be same. And for 1 the next stop again will be same. Now we need to change the route. We need to connect between the routes. So route 12 will be accessed via this route 13. And let's say route 11 will be connected via route 12. Now if we send from PC0 to PC7, you will see that process will work properly. The data will be sent and the signal will send back a signal to let the PC0 to know that it has received the data.
We can send data from any PC to any PC in this network. We we'll send from this one to this one. PC3 to PC4. Sometimes it can fail the first time you send a message, so try it for the second time again. We can also ping from one PC to another PC to know how it is working. Go to command prompt and write ping and then any of the IP address from any of the network. The first time you ping it will take some time so you need to wait for a little while. I will just pause for some time and now you can see that the data is actually replied back. A reply came from the other PC that I just pinged. 